Hi everyone, I'm Marseille from Bark and Bramble and this is Molly. She is one of my Australian Labradoodles. A question that I get asked a lot is what is the difference between an Aussie Doodle and an Australian Labradoodle? And is there a difference? There actually is um, a lot of difference. First of all, an Aussie Doodle is um, Australian Shepherd, which is a herding dog, and then it is a Poodle that is put together. And so it's 50-50 combination, usually. I mean, there could be F1Bs and other, um, but usually it's it's 50-50. So you're not always sure about the coat. Um, and then you don't, there's no club or there's no organization that um, Aussie Doodles have that I know of. Um, in contrast, an Australian Labradoodle, these are their own breed. Oh yeah, you tell them, Molly. Um, we have to um, adhere to certain standards and I can't just go out and breed Molly just because I want to. I have to go through health testing with her um, for her hips, her knees, her heart, and yearly eye tests for diseases. I also um, check for her temperament to see if she's a good temperament. I look for her coat um, and these need to meet the standards um, for what is called WALA, which is the Worldwide Association of Labradoodles, or ALA or ALA, some people say it differently, which is the American Labradoodle Association. For example, Molly here, she has her own little certificate and has her cute little picture here. And I can look back on her family tree and, sorry Molly, I'm gonna bark, um, block you out for a second. I can see that she came here from us, from Bark and Bramble, because she was born here. I can see who her grandparents were, or her parents, her grandparents, and her great-grandparents. This is really important if you are trying to track um, diseases, you want to track coat types, you want to track any type of information. It is so helpful. As um, you get further into breeding, um, you will start to recognize a lot of these kennels and you will know which ones have, you know, exceptional breeding dogs. Not that anyone has bad dogs because you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't get certified obviously if you didn't have great dogs. But this is something that kind of sets us apart. I'm gonna show you also another one. Rowan, come here Rowan, Rowan, come here. Okay, Rowan, on the other hand, hi. He is a member of Walla. And it doesn't, they're just different clubs, both certified, it just depends on um, where the parents came from. But this is um, Rowan's. He has this cool certificate, I know. Now his goes back. <laughs> hi, Rowan. I have his parents. Um, and then I have his grandparents. I have his great-grandparents, his great-great-grandparents, and his great-great-great-grandparents. It's really fascinating, like I said, to kind of go back. You look at the different kennels. You'll recognize a lot of names. You'll recognize a lot of breeders. And it's just, for me, it's insurance that says that my dog has um, come from quality, that there's health testing, and that there are standards that have been put in place. Um, again, you can have Australian Labradoodles that do not have to be registered. I would be asking a lot of questions. Where do those parents come from? Do they know where the line of the great grandparents? Again, this is how we vet for diseases and um, temperament. Um, another thing that we do is um, we check for structure on our dogs. Um, because I don't want dogs in our program that are going to, again, the, the OFA would be taking care of that. But we do an extra uh, check where I want to look and make sure that they're structurally sound. Make sure that your breeder, whoever you go to, is doing all of these things. Um, if you're going to get an Australian Labradoodle, ask these questions. Where are you registered? Is it Walla? Is it Alla? Um, is who are the grandparents? What kind of health testing? And what kind of OFAs are you doing? That's the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals. 
educate yourself. If you would like to know more information about our program, please go to BarkinBramble.com and we would love to help you any way that we can. We have a chocolate um, litter right now that's mini and then we also have a medium litter coming up. Thank you so much and have a great day. Rowan says bye for now. See you later.